you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures to you. She has been like this for the past 24 hours. I have every reason to worry. Well, I've made every single payment they asked for. And the doctor assured me she will not die. So we just have to put our faith in God by believing what the doctor said. I hope, I hope so. <clears throat> well, let's, um, let's go so that she can have a... Not time to rest. Can I can I ask you a favor? Yeah, what is it? Please, oblige me to stay back and look after my friend. She really needs me. And I'd really love to be by her side. But there are nurses in the hospital. They are there and will always be there for your friend. I know, but it would be just wonderful if she wakes up from coma and sees me by her side. Do you ever realize that you are now the queen of Obodani? You cannot sleep in the hospital. Just remember how close we are. We've been friends for years. It'd be very disappointing if she wakes up and not find me by her side. Just oblige me. Let me stay back and look after her. Please. I don't think that will be necessary. However, I will oblige you if that will make you happy. I want you to be happy. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Very... I'll see you at home. Alright. Bye. You've been on this page for like hours now. Anything I need to know? Baby, you, you won't understand. You know the girl? This is the girl I was talking to you about. The one who refused to marry me because she said I was poor. Mm. Now look, she's reached the end of her vanity and she's attempting suicide. Jesus. Sweetheart. I'm sure she's not doing this because of you. You know you threatened to throw her out of the house. Listen. I took your advice, okay? I didn't even implement that threat. Mm. But now look, she can't even commit suicide because of me. Should you now be courageous enough to tell the police what you know about her? Is that important? I made a marriage proposal. She refused. 
Okay? What is important to me now is that I found you and you make me happy. Okay. So now, it's good to come later. Mm. Oh, okay. Anything you see, it's. She will. She will just keep talking to her. I can tell you she will be fine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just take good care of her. I will. What do you feel? I feel very weak. You have not eaten proper food for so long. That's why. But not to worry. The doctor said you'll be discharged tomorrow. So you're gonna be just fine. I don't know where and how to start up my life again. Please. When will you stop thinking about the past? Concentrate on the future. The future is bright. Why on earth would you want to give up? Thank you. For Christ's sake, Jennifer, when will you stop going through this road? You're my friend. And I, I'll always feel indebted to you. Okay. So just relax and just get better. Okay? Mr. Wayne, what you're saying now is exactly the same thing you said over the phone. But I must tell you that when it comes to going into partnership with an average African business to be candid, I certainly have my reservations. Your Majesty. I cannot say I don't know where you're coming from. But to be honest with you, I am not that kind of African when it comes to doing business. I'm not asking for a partnership. What I'm humbly asking for is an opportunity to do business with the poor that be. The man that's come to be the gurus in the oil sector. That is it, Your Majesty. I am not going to turn you down. Maybe because I've already been in the habit of helping people. Thank you very much, Augustine. As you are aware, as the king of my place, I am sort of like a father to all. Yes, Your Majesty, I know you are the king. And that's the reason why I want to go through you. Please, tell me anything you want me to do. And I will humbly say, consider it done. Put everything in writing and submit your proposal for my perusal and analysis. You know, some time ago, I left this conglomerate in the hands of consultants and they did extremely well. I had to be back in business because the only consultant I trusted relocated to France and it downed on me that if I don't come back to take charge of this business, this conglomerate will not succeed. Your Majesty, I will put everything down as instructed. I will get back to you before the end of business day. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Wayne. 
You don't need to be in a hurry. Make sure that you list everything you are expecting from here. And you can always submit anytime. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. But before I go, I must thank you for this opportunity you granted me, this audience, at the very short notice. Why? I mean, this place is. You have a very nice, decent, quite accessible apartment. Why would you get tired of it? <laughs> um, uh, you know, it is not always good to stay in a particular environment for so long. Especially in a neighborhood like this, I smoke. I just. I have this creepy feeling that everybody knows me and I've lost my relevance and importance and respect. Okay. Just made a change, please. Why? So what are you looking at? Have you gotten a place yet or are you searching? I haven't seen any, but someone told me about a very good place. Remember that nurse, that very smart looking nurse that helped me out in the hospital? Mm -hmm. She said there's something very close to her house and it's very nice, but the money that she called is terribly too much. And I don't have it. Well, I do not know why I am so unlucky. But oh, please. So you don't ever say you're unlucky. You are not unlucky. <sighs> Look, the Lord is your strength. Don't ever forget that, okay? All right, now, now. I'll personally check and see how I can help you solve this problem. I just, I don't want to see you complain. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. It's nothing to do. Just be yourself and just... Uh, I just really want to see you happy, you know? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll call you up later. I have to go. Do you know what I've mastered about you? Mm -mm. Tell me. I know when something is eating you up. Read it from your face. Okay, so what do you say? I see a picture of a woman struggling to tell the husband something, but she just doesn't know how to start. You want to know the truth? You are absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I have I have this I have this problem that um, I would need money to solve. But, you know the thing is that you married me because you loved me so much, and then you exposed me to all this El Dorado. I seriously do not wish to be a problem to you. You are excluding yourself. And it makes me weak. You're my wife. The law, law. And the leader of all the women of Obodani. You're part of all this. So you don't have to bother yourself about little little things that money can solve. I know. But like it's not just in my nature to be a burden onto others. I don't want to be part of the bunch that you refer to as others. I'm your husband. And I have the sole responsibility to take care of you, to love and cherish you only, to solve all your problems. Thank you. This is your problem. 
Do you need up to five million naira to solve it? <laughs> oh, you you must be joking, right? What in the world do I need five million for? Of course not. Okay. I wanted to give you a surprise on your birthday, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you're a millionaire. Okay, yes. Look, I know that God has blessed me by giving me a millionaire for a husband, right? And now if that qualifies me as a millionaire, fine, I accept I am. That's if that's what you mean anyway. No, that's not what I mean. Now, I opened an account for a woman I will marry. And money has been wired into that account for a record seven years. As I speak to you now, that account has 400 million naira. I give it to you as a birthday gift. But now, I will give you something else. Tomorrow, I'll take you to Gold Coast Bank and expose you to your money. Oh Use God. it and solve all your problems. Are you serious? You married to Onyeze. In line with your instruction, Your Majesty, everything has been put to right. to come with me to Obodani later in the evening if you would have the chance. You won't have to repeat it again, Your Majesty. I'm much delighted. That's the spirit. I'm excited too. I received a letter from the Minister of Petroleum and I'm glad to inform Ndechie that oil has been discovered in commercial quantity on our land. <laughs> that means gold has been discovered in our land. <laughs> Just near Onungene. And they are planning exploration. Uh, <laughs> so they wrote me as king. And I am here with you so that we can take a decision. Shall we allow them to continue the exploration? Or should we tell them to give us more time? Mm. Do we have the powers to dissuade the government from doing what they want to do? 
Uh, to make some extent, yes. And this is a democratic government. And without consultation, nothing happens. You see, nothing stops the government from moving their equipment to Anungene. Eh, but they don't want a situation where they will mobilize all their equipment to Anungene and the indigenes start to ag ag agitate. Mm. Uh, you know, this is sure militancy has embarrassed the Nigerian government. Yes, yes, of course. So they don't want to force anything on the community. So consultation and dialogue is now the system of governance in the oil sector. Mm. Mm. Very good. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Jack. Mm. Your Majesty, you are more traveled than us. And we are looking up to you for leadership. Especially when it comes to matter of relationship with the government. So tell us what you want us to do. I don't know why you're always doing this. <laughs> I am a male king, not an all-knowing God. And that is why I came, so that we can put our hands together and take a decision in this matter. Mm. I but Your Majesty, we would like you to handle this issue for us. Any decision you reach here, it's okay by us. Yes. Of course. And we believe that you are going to take a decision that will be beneficial to Bodan. It's okay, Jen. You have spoken well. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> do just that and communicate to the government. Yes. That's good. Is that the consensus? Yes. Yes, 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 Your Highness. Yes, Your Highness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You know, I've always told people that I am happy being the king of Obodad. <laughs> I shall represent my people. Be brave. And when next will they convene, I will tell us what the situation is. Be brave. <laughs> <laughs> been going out as you used to and that's the truth well sure i haven't been going out as i used to but i go out i mean <laughs> you picked me up from the bus stop now didn't you okay yeah i, like, I oh, agree so. <laughs> so where are you going now um i am definitely sure that my ralph is the opposite one to yours hey. so i don't want inconvenience hey result. jenny I'm I'm listen. Anywhere. <laughs> i'm not told you inconvenience to me tell me where you're going and i'll drop you then <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um, you know what, seriously, I do not want you to bother yourself, okay? But if you feel all carry carry today, you can come check me up later in the evening. I mean, we can do something fun, oh, hang out, no. share with love wine or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I would have loved that, but you see, I won't be available tonight because I'll be traveling to South America this evening. Oh, yeah. when are you due back? Hey, I'm gonna have to stay for a long time. You see, our refinery over there needs my attention and I really have to go and see things there. Here we are. Now the important thing you realize you're a friend of the family, so you are always welcome at any time. Anytime. Thank you very much. I will not forget that memory. All right. Now you take this for your cap. Oh, Santos, come on. No, 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 no. Take this, take this, take this. You, you, you don't have to do this. No, it's not. Take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. 
Okay, I'll just get on here and get some few things in this room. Like, all right, all right. You take care of yourself. I you too. All right, bye bye. Okay. So, Amuma is now married to a man that owns a refinery. I am still alone and frustrated. And Jennifer, you're just so unlucky. Oh, I am so sorry for arriving late. I don't know if there's frost that's still on board, but... No, there's no taxi in town. It's alright. I'm not complaining. How are you? Good, yeah, we thank the Lord. Jennifer, I... I actually called you to give you this. It's a check for one million naira. I'm sure it'll be enough for you to pay for an apartment and furnish it to an acceptable state. I just do not want you to complain again. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I feel indebted to you with this. <laughs> no, come on. You don't have to be. I mean, if I'm not bothered about how you feel, if I don't think about your welfare and all of that, I, I just couldn't call myself your friend. And listen, Jennifer, I, I want you to know that you're a very beautiful woman. And as such, very soon you will have a suitable suitor come your way. And in God's time. And don't always forget that God's time is the best. I just want you to be strong. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I would. I like it when you talk like this. I feel encouraged. Thank you. Oh. Come on. Come here. I just want to be sure you're fine. I'm trying to be here. Returned all the money we paid on the aborted world tour. So I said I should bring yours to you immediately. This is a lotion. Your Majesty. I can't remember telling you I cancelled that trip. I merely postponed it. You should have left the money with the airline. We shall still embark on the trip. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I'm acting based on instruction. Your son said I should return the check. You told me that? Let's forget about it. Um, there's a lady I want to send to the United States. And I want you to handle all the travel papers. Who is this lady, Your Majesty? Her name is Jennifer. Jennifer. My wife's friend. Mm -hmm. She's no longer happy in this country. And I thought the best thing I can do for her is to send her to the States. Maybe she may just start a new life. Does she have an American visa? <laughs> I bet, yeah. 
that she does not even have an international passport. I want you to handle everything. Um, I will give you her address. So you go to her and start the process. Okay, ma'am. Hearing your voice alone, it's it's a big consolation to me. I mean, it's every woman's dream. Excuse me. This is His Royal Majesty, King Omemma of Obodani. I'm sorry if I should know this voice, but I don't. You see, this is one of the reasons why I love you. You are so blunt and straightforward. Who are you, please? You don't recognize my voice, do you? Anyway, I'll just pardon you. My name is Jennifer. I'm a mass friend. The same Jennifer that you abandoned and rejected. Well, I just called to say that um, I still love you so much and you'll forever, ever be in my heart. And it's nice you called. Um, one Mrs. Olosha will come your way soon. She's my travel consultant. Please oblige her with all the information she may ask from you. Ah, uh, come on, Oyenzo. See, let us not try to dodge the topic, okay? Okay, I'm gonna be blunt, just like you are. I wanna come and see you. I'm sorry, Jennifer. That's not possible. I can understand what you are going through now. And that's why I decided to send my travel consultant to prepare all the documents for you. Look, I want you to relocate to the United States and start a new life there. I will ensure that you are established. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, for even thinking this of me, it's, it's fine, but um, I would have to say no. I mean, how, how could you expect me to possibly stay outside this country without being close to you? Look, babes, I love you. I want to be close to you. This is crazy. Is it because they now call you Lolo that made you think you are no longer my brother's housewife? See, housewives are meant to stay at home. Why is it that you are always out of the house? Auntie, I went to see my friend. And who is that your friend? Huh? Her name is Jennifer. We've been friends for so long. She's actually having some problems and I happen to be the only one she still trusts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me exactly what you told my brother. It's just exactly what you told me. How dare you? Are you aware that Onyeze is my brother? And I have the right to send you packing from this house. Auntie, why would you want to do that? We are legally married and we love each other. Whatever I tell you remains with you. If I want to talk to Gonyeze, I will talk to him directly. Desist from telling him what I don't want him to hear. If you repeat what you just did, you won't like what I will do. Yo, my brothers and sisters. Excuse me. I know you've been trying so hard to make it more weird in your life, man. Hello, darling. Uh, how are you, love? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, 
Guess what, Sugar? Your sister is visiting. Sister Kate is at home? Yeah, she's right here with me. Give her the phone. Okay. My husband, he wants to speak with you. Yeah, hello. Does it mean that you cannot allow that woman to have peace in her matrimonial home? And who told you she is at home? I've waited here for three hours before she came back. And what about that? Kate, I want you to realize that I am not the same Chukwe Mecca you used to give knocks on the head. I am now His Royal Majesty, King Omemma of Obodani. Please, leave my wife and I alone. Chukwe Mecca, you are wrong to think I will ever leave you alone. You are my only brother, and your wife must surely do what I want her to do. I just asked her where she was coming from, and she said she has gone to see her friend. Can you imagine? And what's wrong with a woman going to see her friend? Why are you frustrating this beautiful woman God gave me as wife? A woman who is always going to see her friends cannot have time to take care of her husband. And I will never allow my brother's wife to be that kind of a woman who is always out of the house. I can't remember complaining to you. Please give her back the phone. Chukwe Mika. Okay. I'm on my way. And you don't have to blame me if I do what I have to do as a sister. Did you hear me? Okay. Hello, darling. See that. I know you've gone to see Jennifer, and I must tell you straight away, I am not impressed. But honey, why? Why do you hate Jennifer so much? What has she done? I'm sorry. I will not want to speak more now. See you when I come home. Okay. Have a nice day. Why are you so upset with me? Do you realize that you are now a married woman? Married women should keep married women as friends. What are you doing with Jennifer? But your majesty, she want me to stop seeing Jennifer. We've been friends from childhood. We've shared all of our lives together, everything we've ever had. Why do you refer to Jennifer as if she's a stranger, someone you don't even know? I don't know her, and that's the gospel truth. You are the one I know. You are my wife, and you are the one I want to know. If you want to have friends, out some very responsible married women and have them as your friends. You don't have any business with a single woman anymore. I don't want to see that Jennifer around here. You might, you might just... This is just going to be very hard on her. How am I going to make this happen? I called you all here to officially inform you that Okun here is now officially the head of all the housekeepers. As you all know, Santos has traveled out of the country and is likely to be out there for quite some time. So you all need someone to answer to. And that is where Okun here comes in handy. He is now your new leader. No one is allowed to come to the king or me to make any report. Every report should go to Okun. 
except in the case where you think that Okun has not handled the matter appropriately. Am I understood? Are there any questions? No, 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 no. Ume? Ume, what is it? Um, Your Majesty, actually it's not a question. It's an information and it's for you alone. So it will be good if we could discuss in private. You can all go back to your duty post. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ume, what is it? Um, Your Majesty, I had a very bad dream three days ago. I felt it's nothing. So, but now, I dreamt about the same dream again last night. So, I, I felt I should let you know because something wrong might happen. And what were these dreams of yours? Your Majesty, I saw the king shouting at you and as if you're nobody. And all the housekeeper were very, very surprised because we all know that the king should not shout, not to talk of shouting at his screen. Your Majesty, I woke up. Oh, it was a dream. And is that why you're bothered? Yes, Your Majesty. And that's why I said I should inform you. I would have told Oga Santos, but it's because he traveled. That's why I didn't pass the information to him. Oh, man. First of all, I really do appreciate your concern. But listen, you don't have anything to worry about. My husband is an honorable man, and he will not shout at any woman. So go back to the gate. Eh? Huh? Ume, go back to the gate. Sorry. about how you feel if I don't think about your welfare and all of that. I, I just couldn't call myself your friend. And listen, Jennifer, I, I want you to know that you're a very beautiful woman. And as such, very soon you will have a suitable suitor come your way. And in God's time, and don't always forget that God's time is the best. She doesn't even call me. She doesn't even come to me anymore. What's going on? Hello, darling. How are you? I'm fine. I do not know what I've done to you, Amuma, that you have abandoned me like this. Oh, come on, Jenny. You know I would never do that. Why would I ever want to abandon you? Then what did you do? Because you don't come to my house anymore. You don't call me anymore. Even if I call and you see my missed call, you don't even return it. What have I done? Look, I'm sorry, okay? Um, I really am. Um, I sincerely apologize. It's just that I've been pretty busy these days, you know. I barely even have the time for myself. But not to worry, I promise you, I will make it up to you. No problem. By the way, um, I wanted you to have my CV so you can give it to your husband. Uh, wow! Fantastic! Jenny, you finally thought of working, eh? Yes, um, I thought about his proposal to send me to the United States of America, but. Uh, I, I, I think I'd rather stay back here so I can work. I mean, with my CV in his hands and his recommendation letters, I would have a good position in any company. 
Okay, so where are you? I'm at home. Right, I will be with you in a bit. I'll personally pick it up myself. Okay? See ya. Bye. Jennifer, wait. I don't understand. I mean, people do not affix pictures on their CVs. There is no rule that says you cannot affix your picture on your CV. You know, your husband knows me physically, but the person you might want to recommend me to might want a physical description of me, so the picture will do the job. Well, if you say so, I will give it to him. But seriously, Jennifer, I'm just hoping. I'm hoping you've forgiven me for the break in our communications. Marriage is not a bed of roses. It's not been easy. No, it's okay. I forgive you. I mean, other friends will. Mm -hmm. By the way, please help me. Do everything in your power. Use the woman in you and convince your husband to give me this job. I oh, prepare to work now. And I'm serious about it. Of course you know that you have the job already. Once you've made up your mind to work, then you have the job. Come and see me about it, Dorian. Okay, don't worry. The job is yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Good afternoon. Is anything the matter? Auntie Faith, the district head of Women Fellowship. She's at the gate, ma. Oh, let her in. Okay. Actually, I came to find out why you don't come to fellowship anymore. Auntie Faith, it's not as if I have backslided or something. Mm -hmm. It's just that these days I've been very busy. Very busy? That you cannot make out time and worship the Lord? Come on, don't sound like that. It's not as if I have abandoned God or something. Then you have to show it. The impression I have is that the Lord bless you with a millionaire husband. And all you could do is to abandon him. It's not like that. I, I have not abandoned him. Okay. I came as the district head to find out what is happening. You have to rekindle the old zeal in you. You never can tell what next the Lord is planning for you. So you don't have to abandon him. I have not abandoned him. I will never abandon my God. I thank God for that. from the government house. Who and what did he or she say? His name is Mr. David Wankalo. He said that item 14 in the proposal we submitted is not elaborate and he asked for additional information. Okay, go and study the said item 14. Make some inputs. And let me see what we have. All right, you know, just in your briefcase actually I wanted to you know see if you could recommend her to someone to get her a job or something thank god she's willing to work now I think we should help her I will lose one yet to help her okay I'll get back to you thank you very much honey have a nice day at work okay love you true love is very hard to find and when you find it, you have to keep it for so long. I am 
observe this on this one. My God, this color is beautiful. <sighs> Do you know you are the most beautiful woman on earth? Where's this? I am His Royal Majesty, Eze Omema of Obodani. I'm sorry I'm calling you with a new number I just bought and I'm dedicating it to you. How are you, Jennifer? Well, I am fine, and you? Well, you abandoned me all this while, but thank God I'm still alive. <laughs> You're sounding very strange. Are you sure everything is okay with you? Have you seen my CV? Yes, your wonderful picture is staring me in the face. And I wonder why you asked me to recommend you to somebody when I'm here. Well, I thought you said you didn't have a vacancy in your office. But it's a vacancy in my life which only you can feel. Jennifer, just tell me you love me and it will suffice. Oh, okay. Um, I love you. I love you so much. I love you with everything that is in me. I can't do anything without you, baby. I'll get back to you. Okay. This is actually working. <laughs> He's beginning to see me and say lovely things to me. <laughs> no, it's it's working. It is working. Yeah, wonderful. Why do you ask? Nothing. Um, as you instructed your majesty, I've done some imputes in 1914. Just see what I have. Oh, no, 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 please. Then I trust you. If you're satisfied with your input, go and dispatch it to Mr. Wakalo. But that's not the standard, your majesty. You told me when I started that you must see every single letter before you leave this office. Yeah, but I can change my mind. And indeed, I just changed my mind. Just put the company seal on the letter and dispatch it to Mr. Wagon. All right, Jimmy, just. And what is it again, Ken? Oh, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. At least you should sign. Come on. Once there's a company seal on that, it makes no difference who signs. Endorse and dispatch to Mr. Wakalo. That's my instruction. Thank you. Sorry. 
Are you new here? Yes. I I just packed in, sir. Uh, it's obvious. Well, um, no, what's your name? My name is Tega. Tega. You know, the Jennifer I'm looking for is one lovely, beautiful, and young lady. Um, she I, lives here. I'm sorry, sir. Like I said before, I just packed in here. I, I don't know any Jennifer, sir. she actually went to my old house you know if you check on my my cv my new address is somewhere there didn't you say well um directly i don't have the document with me i want to see you now okay the address is number 42 tonto close of diggy drive number what number 42 tonto close of dk drive As a king, I'm entitled to many wives. So Jennifer here is my wife, and I want her to share the master bedroom with me. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> 